The story of border transport begins shortly after the end of the Second World War. More than 60 years ago, in 1949, Hertha and Hans Hermann Border founded the company in Rheinfeld as an official haulage partner of German railways. This was the beginning of a consistent process of development. Today, Border Transport staff of more than 130 deal with national and international freight traffic in over 30,000 square meters of storage and handling areas. Forward-thinking entrepreneurship, an enthusiastic, loyal clientele and excellent staff whose needs are taken care of have made the company's sustained success possible over the decades. With this success, other bases were added to the original headquarters in Rheinfeld, in the North German state of Schleswig-Holstein. The branch in Mölln looks after the renowned Norwegian parquet manufacturer Bürn. Border developed an innovative worldwide distribution concept for Bern. An on-site team has been so successful at realizing this concept that in 2005 it was awarded Bern Service Oscar. With 6,000 square meters of warehouse space, the branch in Lübeck opened in 2006 and has become an important base for food transfer and transport. Close proximity to the motorways A1 and A226, a rail connection and short distances to the Zeeland, Nordland and Scandinavia keys are ideal conditions for a logistics company. Heinfeld, number two, Feldstraße. This has been the site of the firm's headquarters since 1975 and also houses the company's central vehicle workshop. The premises at number 5 Feldstraße were added as additional warehouse space in 1986. Number 5 Feldstraße is the central warehouse for paperboard cartons. The cat slide roof offers shelter for the handling of weather sensitive goods. The sites at number 36 and 36A Grotkoppel were added in 2004 and contain warehousing and offices. In 2008, they were converted into high-quality handling areas for temperature-sensitive chilled and frozen foodstuffs. What sounds like a simple conversion was in fact a major proposition. Because since 2007, the company's food warehouses have all been certified according to ISO 22000-2005. This is the only norm that represents the same qualitative requirements worldwide from manufacturer to end consumer in terms of uniform consumer protection. For the buildings this means for example sealed, smooth and easy to clean surfaces throughout. This certificate demands a high degree of commitment from staff strong motivation and a rigorous attitude of responsibility for consumer protection. Border Transport's warehouses reflect the full diversity of the haulage business. The food business takes up a great deal of space, but you'll also find here cartons for the food industry, tubing for firefighting equipment or paper webs for the print industry. These heavyweights need particular attention for safe transport. Before loading or unloading, the trailers are first secured to the ground with special adjustable and securable chocks. This prevents slippage due to load changes caused by forklift trucks. Patented aluminium edge protectors developed in-house prevent the edges of the webs from being damaged and allow high lashing forces. The contact pressure of the lift truck's clamps is also adjusted to match the paper structure and thus avoid damage. If desired, Border Transport will also carry out repacking of full container loads. The packages are palletized directly from the container. Dispatch preparations are carried out according to VDI guideline 3968. 
Today it goes without saying that warehouse technology is computer-based. All the goods and their storage positions are registered with the necessary details via barcode. In this way, individual goods turnover and inventory record keeping are possible, for instance by batch or best before date. For many people, the IT department is the logistical heart of a company. But for just as many, the heart of a logistics company beats under the bonnet. Because when most people hear the term haulage, they think of trucks. That was the case in the days when the company made its deliveries with a Henschel truck like this one. And it's still true today, although in the meantime, much has changed. The border fleet now comprises 65 vehicles, mostly articulated trucks. All the tractors have Euro 5 engines. All the trailers are certified according to DIN EN12642 XL and licensed with rail code P400 code XL for combined transport at speeds of up to 140 km per hour. For the European dispatch of temperature sensitive foodstuffs, border transport uses special reefer trailers and containers. Temperature monitoring is undertaken online via telemetry. Under the supervision of a master mechanic, qualified personnel in the company's own workshop make sure the fleet is always in immaculate condition. Besides vehicle servicing, forklifts are repaired, refrigeration units maintained and turbochargers and brakes replaced. The quality of repairs is then tested on the company's own rig. Vehicle inscription is also carried out in a dedicated workshop using high-quality, weather-resistant films. This is how a border truck should look. And to make sure they stay that way, the company truck wash is always busy. Here they are, border transport's kings of the road. They're a very special kind of people, here assembled for one of their regular training sessions. Border truckers are highly qualified and motivated beyond the norm. In collaboration with DECRA, border transport offers regular safety training sessions. One important focus is on road safety. Here the emphasis is on load securing. Training and informational DVDs on food safety, secured load units and load security in general round off the range of training seminars. It is indeed a complex mass of rules and regulations that concern the driver and his job. To transport a load safely and securely is not simply a matter of just like that. Safe transport is always a sign of particular quality. In 1994, to make quality a constant in the company's everyday work, Border Transport was one of the first German hauliers to apply for DIN EN ISO 9002 certification. Then, as now, an unusual step. But the pioneering spirit had its advantages. Quality and work processes improved consistently. In 1997 came the environmental certification ISO 14001, which was then integrated in 2004 on the 10th anniversary of the original certificate in ISO 9001-2000. As you've heard, in 2007 the company was one of the first to receive ISO 22000-2005 certification. So, schon wunderbar. Getting certification is one thing, Living certification in terms of constantly rising quality standards is another. The company put special emphasis on safe transport. A wide range of measures ensure that high quality standards are not only achieved on a daily basis but are also permanently improved. The company leads in the areas of load security, 
damage prevention and road safety, setting standards for the industry. Truck traffic and environmental protection may seem a contradiction. This is scarcely true today. At border transport, well thought out route planning keeps unnecessary, environmentally damaging empty runs to a minimum. All truck engines fulfill the current Euro 5 environmental standard. And many shipments no longer take place by road, but by rail or ship. The annual CO2 figures are evidence that these measures have been successful. And last but not least, further proof of border transport's environmental credentials is given by the fact that, at border premises, not all surfaces are sealed with asphalt or cobblestones, leaving room for small natural biotopes. Harmonizing ecology and industry is no contradiction. You just have to want it. The same applies to success. Quality and reliability, safety, ecology and social responsibility play equally important roles. To survive in the markets of the future, it's important to keep up good traditions, realize sensible innovations quickly, recognize changing needs early and see your own consistent further development as an opportunity. For the last six decades, these have been the cornerstones of Border Transport's company philosophy and strategy. And they will remain so in future. <laughs>